What's up, world? It's your boy Donovan. Welcome back to another episode of Clark Crew Reviews. <sighs> kind of like what I said before, I'm a few days late on this, but I seen that either DC, Warner Brothers, or CW revealed their first official look at Ruby Rose in her CW Batwoman full costume. Here it is. You know what? It's not terrible. As a as an avid, as a avid Batman fan, I believe I am distinctly qualified to comment on the costume. Now, there was a lot of controversy controversy about Ruby Rose being cast as Batwoman. I don't know why. Maybe it's because people don't like Ruby Rose. Maybe it's because they don't feel she's a good actress. Maybe they don't like her tattoos. I think a lot of people felt like they didn't want a lesbian playing the character, a real life lesbian. When in fact, uh, Kate Kane, I do believe, is a lesbian in the actual comic book. So the source material. Why not? Who cares? But as far as the costume goes, the actual outfit that's on her, I don't think is bad. I think the cape is kind of Halloween costume E. <laughs> it looks like she got the cape off a Halloween costume. I don't like it. You can actually see lights through the cape. You can't really glide if light goes through it because I'm sure air probably goes through it. I don't believe uh, that's the case with the typical bat suit cape. I don't like how it's so definely serrated neither. I wish it was a little bit less. Like there's big you know, gaps in it. I wish it was a little less defined. And I know Batwoman's is not a big cape before you come at me, but for the sake, I think for cinematic purposes, it works well when the cape is a little bit bigger and they can use it to shroud themselves. Plus, especially if she's in the dark, it's a little bit more menacing. And she's kind of spreading it like it just doesn't, I don't like how she's spreading it. It looks like she's posing for, she like, she looks like she's posing for a picture. I believe it will little, it would have looked better if, like, it would have been spread. And it, like, it would have been like an action shot. Like, the, she'd have been jumping off a building with a grapnel in an action shot and the cape spreading open. You know what I mean? I don't like how she's just, like, walking towards the camera, spreading it out. And you can see the lights through it. But... I mean, the Batwoman signal fits it good. It Now, if she's fighting crime in that, it doesn't look like it got too much armor on it. It just looks like it's a suit she puts on, like a like an athletic suit. I wish it would have had a... Maybe she got some, some gauntlets, but I wish she would have had a little bit more armor on it to, to fit... Excuse me. To fit against, like, knife attacks or gun attacks. Excuse me. Again... Utility belt looks a lot, looks kind of light. She's got two on the left side. She needs some more gadgetry on that utility belt. Like, when you gonna do it? Two things on the left side. You just whooping everybody. Like, you bad with me. Some more gadgets, right? Load that utility belt up. The red hair is not looks good. Um, the mask actually fits her good. It's kind of showing the bottom of her nose. That's always bothered me with the Batman mask when the actor or actress, the bottom of her nose is poking out. I do feel like they try to doll her up by having some of the red hair go down inside of her forehead in front of like the ear of the mask or the cowl. Why couldn't the, the hair just be back all the way, showing the full cow with the ears? Why they have to like doll her up and have it like over the front going like that? Like I don't like that. Uh, 
that is a I mean that looks like a bat woman signal like the bat signal looks like bat woman's emblem on her chest and if I'm not mistaken I've seen this before so I can't take ownership in it uh, I was watching John Campia and that building under the bat woman signal says Wayne on it so that is a Wayne Enterprise building so they're not going to build bring Bruce Wayne aka Batman into the CW Arrowverse it's not happening I would like it to but then again I would not want it on there they're not bringing Batman in there are they going to bring Bruce Wayne I don't know they did a young Bruce Wayne on what was it, ABC. But that's a Wayne building. They're not going to bring Batman into it. But saying Wayne lets you know that the character is around somewhere. But what they haven't done, they haven't said whether or not, unless I miss something, that Batwoman is from Earth 1 or Earth 2. So is she from the Arrow, Green Arrow, Flash world? Or is she from the Supergirl world? Like, is she coming with Supergirl over to Earth 1 or the crossover? Are they going to go over to Supergirl and they're going to run into her? I don't know. I haven't seen anything. I, does it matter? Uh, Bruce Wayne has been referenced directly by Oliver Queen. Uh, Batman has been referenced in The Flash. Batman has been referenced in uh, Supergirl too. So I'm sure there's a Batman on each Earth, parallel Earths. But which Earth is this Batwoman from? I don't know. But no, overall, I don't think the suit looks bad. I mean, say what you want about Ruby Rose. She she has her following. She probably will shine on the smaller screen. So, I mean, she's been in movies and like on Netflix, but with her degree of acting chops, she'll probably shine on a smaller condensed TV series. Uh, but the suit doesn't look bad. I would just want a few changes and if they do green light a full series for her, this suit will go through some changes. I'm confident in that because every show has changed her superhero outfit, so I'm not worried. I just hope she does the character justice and the Bat family justice. Make Bruce Wayne proud. Make Batman proud, if you would. Let me know what you guys think of... Ruby Rose, a.k.a. Kate Kane, a.k.a. Batwoman's Arrowverse Batsuit debut in the comment section down below. While you're here, like, share, and subscribe to your boy. If I get that notification that you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back to you. Game recognized game. Until next time, y'all take it easy. Peace.